Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you are ready to learn some English. First, introductions. Nice to meet you. My name is Sinead. I'm from a country called Ireland. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a country in Europe known for its beautiful land and kind people. As you can see, I am super kind. So that means you need to watch my video and do all my worksheets in this class. We will be learning about how to help people through giving instructions in English. To do this, we will be using something called expository nonfiction writing. But what is expository nonfiction writing? Expository nonfiction writing is a type of writing that explains, informs, and describes something in a clear and objective way. The goal of expository writing is to help readers understand a topic or concept by presenting information in a logical and organized way. Expository writing can take many forms, such as news articles. These provide facts and information about current events, often using quotes and interviews to support the story. They can be textbooks. These provide detailed explanations about subjects like math, English and science. How-to guides. These provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to do something, often using pictures or videos to show the process. There's science reports. These provide detailed descriptions of scientific experiments, often using graphs or tables to show data. Also, there's recipes. These provide detailed descriptions of how to make food. In expository writing, the author should be objective and present information in a clear and concise way. They should also use examples to help the reader understand the topic. In this lesson, we will focus on how-to guides and recipes. We are going to work towards writing our own how-to guides at the end of the lesson. To do this, I think we should practice with something easy, like a recipe. Remember, a good recipe should be easy to follow and include all the information you need. So, how to make a recipe. Step one, start with a title. Make a descriptive name for your recipe that shows what it is. Keep it simple and easy to remember. Step two, list the ingredients. Begin your recipe with a list of ingredients. List them in order that they will be used in the recipe. Step three, describe the method. Give a step-by-step -step description of how to prepare the recipe. Be as detailed as possible and make sure to include cooking times and temperatures. Step four, provide extra information. Provide information that might be helpful to the reader, like cooking tips, serving suggestions, 
or ways to change the recipe. Step five, include a picture. If possible, include a picture of the finished dish. This can help the reader see what the dish should look like at the end. So let's look at our worksheet one. On the first page, you can see each step you need to complete. Have fun creating your recipe. It can be serious or funny.
Great work! Now it's time to start learning about how to make a how-to guide. How to, how to. A how-to guide is a set of instructions that tells you how to do something. It's like a step-by-step -step manual that walks you through the process of completing a task or achieving a goal. How-to guides can cover a wide range of topics from cooking a specific recipe to building a piece of furniture to fixing a problem with your computer. The purpose of a how-to guide is to provide clear and concise instructions that are easy to follow even for someone who has never done the task before. They often include diagrams or pictures to help show the steps and they may also include tips or suggestions to make the task easier. Overall, a how-to guide is a helpful tool for anyone who wants to learn how to do something new or do a task they're not familiar with. So, let's look at the steps for how to make a how-to guide. How to, how to. Step one, choose a topic. First, decide on a topic for your how-to guide. It should be something you have knowledge and experience in and that you think might be useful for others or just something funny. Step two, identify your audience. Consider who your audience will be. Will they be students, friends, family? This will help you determine the level of detail you need to include in your guide. Step three, break it down into steps. Once you have your topic and audience, break down the process into steps. Think about the order in which things should be done and how you can best explain each step. Step four, use clear and concise language. Use clear and concise language to explain each step. Avoid using difficult words. And step five, use visuals. Include visuals such as diagrams, photos, or drawings to help show the steps. This can be really helpful. And step six, share your guide. Once you are happy with your guide, share it with your friends. And remember, a good how-to guide should be easy to follow, accurate, and provide enough detail for your audience to successfully complete the task. By following these steps, you can create a helpful and informative guide for others to follow. Here is an example how-to that I made. Mine is called how to be a tough guy. A super serious guide. How, how to, to be, be a, a tough, tough guy. guy. Are you tired of being a wimp? Do you want to be a real man? Then listen up because I'm about to teach you how to be a tough guy. Okay, step one, look the part. Wear a cool jacket. Sunglasses. <laughs> and a scowl at all times. Remember, if you're not wearing sunglasses, you're not tough. Step two, always stand with your arms crossed and your feet shoulder width apart. This shows everyone that you're not to be messed with. <laughs> Step three, speak in a low, scary voice. 
<laughs> Grunt, mm. growl, and use as few words as possible. Okay. Remember, tough guys don't waste time with small talk. Mm. Step four, never show weakness or vulnerability. Tough guys never cry or ask for help, no matter what. Even if you're dying inside, keep a stoic expression and stiff upper lip. Step five, shave your head. Nice. Congratulations, you are now a tough guy. Remember, always be ready to fight, always look tough, and always be cool. And if all else fails, just growl mm. and run away. Mm. Or not. <laughs> Good luck, tough guy. Now it's time to create your own how-to guide. Remember, you can write about anything you want. So, choose a topic for your guide. Think about something you know how to do well, like cooking a meal or fixing a bike. It's important to choose a topic that you're familiar with so you can explain it clearly. Remember to plan your guide. Think about the steps involved in completing the task you're writing about. Make a list of the steps in the order they need to be done. Think about how long each step takes and how hard it is to do. Include a list of things you need. For example, if you're writing a guide on cooking a meal, you might need to include ingredients, utensils, and items you need. List these items so your reader will know what they need to have before they start. Write each step in simple English. Use short sentences and simple words. Don't assume that your readers know anything about the task you're writing about. Explain everything in detail. Include drawings to explain the steps. If you're writing about something like cooking or gardening, it can be helpful to include pictures to show what things should look like at different stages. Lastly, remember to read over your guide and check for mistakes. Make sure everything is spelled correctly. Okay, let's do the second worksheet.
Great job, everyone! I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you again in another video. Goodbye!